Okay, sorry about that. My memory was full, so I had to get another um, memory card. All right, so, all right, just to, when you get to the end, remember, here's the end. Okay, so, there's no more to go. You add one. Okay, make sure it's you make sure it's not tight. Then turn your whole works around here. And now you're going to be headed the other direction. All right. Now, you added one. Add one. Okay. Now, add one again. Remember we're doing a double crochet, so double is 2. So we've just added our two. Okay. Now you don't go into the same one that you were just into. This is where it's a little bit tricky, but um, here's basically your row. Okay, so put your thing, um, wrap your um, material around, and go into the next hole. And this is again, I can't stress it enough. Do not give your put yourself in a situation where this is real tight. Make sure it's loose. I mean not loose like that. Not like that, but not tight down not tight like that either. You want to make it just you know a little bit loose. Alright, so grab around. Go into the next hole. By the next hole, you'll see it. Here's the hole you're in. Here's the next hole. I'll do that again. Wrap it around. Go in your next hole. Grab. Pull through two pull through two. Leave yourself room. About that much. Alright. Put one on. Go in the next hole, not not this hole, the next hole. Grab, pull through, pull through two. Okay. Grab, pull through two. Pull through two. Okay. Go around, or you know, loop it around. Put put on your extra loop, however you want to call it. All right. Wrap it around once. All right. Go not not in the hole you were in. Go the next hole. Grab, pull, grab, pull through two, grab, pull through two. Alright. Wrap it around. Not that one. That's the one we just did. The next one. This one right here. Go in there. Punch it. Go right through it. 
grab, pull through, grab, pull through two, grab, pull through two. If you're doing triple crochet, it would be three. If it would be single crochet, it would be one. There's books at Walmart or craft stores, uh, AC Moore and Joann's, and there's, there's books on crocheting, but I think there's enough of us that's doing it on, on YouTube that you can learn just by watching different people, and then you get your own technique. You'll get what works for you, but just, you know, as you do it. All right, so not in this hole here. The next one, can't hardly see it, but it's there. You you can push through. Grab, pull. Grab, pull through two. Grab, pull through two. And then always doing that. And I'm almost at the end, so I might as well add my next piece on. And um, it's just repetitious, so basically there's nothing more to, to you know, um, to emphasize on. It's just a matter of doing it. And, alright, so here's, this is the new one, this is the one that's on the hook, alright. Doesn't matter, put, just line them up together and fold it over. Take your scissors halfway in the middle, make the slit. Alright, so this is the one we're working on. This is the new one. Alright, this is the one we're working on. I got it in my left hand. This is the new one in my right hand. Overlay it. Put it over. Alright, so then you put it on top. Or, you know, and put your finger there so you can open that up. Take your hand and then go all the way to the end. Here's the end. Push it through. And when you see it there, then grab it. And I have hold here. Then you let go. And pull together. And why don't I just do that one more time? Now you can make chair pads for your dining room. You can make the pad, the seat and the back if you so want. You can make placemats. You can make um, hot pads. You can make wall hangings. Put your loops in there and then just get a wooden dowel and um, hang it up on the wall. There's so many things you can use. And then if you go to the fabric store, like uh, I was at Walmart, if you pick, if you find some material that's like a navy blue background or a black background or red, you know, be a dark color, purple. If you find it with little itty bitty tiny little flowers on there, that is so neat to, to make like four rows of one color or six rows of one color, two rows of another.
six rows of one color, two rows to another. And you can get your own little pattern. And it's so awesome. The things that you come up with. You can plan it by buying all the material or you can just wing it by getting the material that you find at Goodwill or go to your family's house and rob their linen closet. <laughs> all right, so there we go. We're ready. We have a little bit left there. All right, not... We're not going to go in this one. We did that one. We're going to wrap it around here. We're going to go in the next hole. Well, let me let me explain to you about these next holes. Like, um, you'll see it once you get going here. There's a hole right there. But that's why these hooks are great. Because there's your hole. Here's your hole. Next one. Here's your hole. Next one. You know, and they're there. You just poke through. That's and the tight tighter you hold the um the strips of cloth here is that's what makes it hard. The looser, it's easier like that when you do it loose. That's why I always say, you know, don't tighten it up. But you can see it. And when you, if you just sit there and look at it, you can see all the holes. But, all right, so back to this again. All right, don't make it real tight. Pull this down. All right, wrap it around, go to the next hole, grab, grab, and grab, and then pull this down. Okay, wrap it around, go in your next hole, grab, grab, and grab. Wrap it around, go in the next hole, grab, grab, grab. And then I always stop and then just pull this. But actually it does go quite fast, believe it or not. Wrap, put the next hole, pull through the two. You've got two left, pull through the two. Wrap it around, go in the next hole. Pull through the two, pull through the two. Stop, pull, and just kind of like that. That's where your fingers get tired. And if you have carpal tunnel, I don't know, they have them wrist um, uh, immobilizers. They, I do have one, it does work. Okay, wrap it around, go through the hole, pull through, pull through, and pull through. Wrap it around, go through the hole, pull, pull through, 
pull through. Wrap it around, go to the next hole, pull that through, pull through two. This is where when you do it too tight, they all, that's what you'd have. All right. Took that one apart. All right. Wrap it around. Pull. Go into your next hole. Pull through two. Pull through two. And then colors, it'd be light and dark, light and dark. Unless you want to make all solid one color. Um, sentimentally, if you have, I had a pair of uh, my mother's curtains and I did incorporate that into a rug and um, I gave it away to one of the kids and said this is grandma's curtains from the upstairs window in the bedroom and they they it you know it you can do things like that too and it's um, kind of like an heirloom you know these are last these are hundred percent cotton so you can tell your customers they're washable, dryable, you know, in the washer and the dryer. Um, they've already, the cotton's already been pre-shrunk already. Now, see this thing with all the threads? They just break so easily. That's why I said earlier, don't worry about the threads. They just break and you can get rid of them. But, um, um, you know, Bed spreads, anything that's that's like you know got some cotton in there, but you um, you can make a rug or a, a wall hanging or something, and can keep it like forever and ever. Ah, oh, it's so. I mean, sentimentally, you know, you can take fabric from Daddy's old shirts, or you can take, you can do all sorts of things, and. Um, um, you'll always have them because these rugs are just they last forever and ever. Okay, I'm going to have to add another strip. The old one, the new one on the top, go on the back side, push through that slot to the top, grab onto it, pull through.
There's your knot. And that will never come apart. So this is cute for a little girl's room. Pink and white. Now, I think I made a mistake there. Well, I'll have to see. So, just take it apart. And I did. I should have gone in that hole. But I skipped and went over there. So, if it's in your intentions to skip a hole for a reason or whatever, that's how you do it. Just skip a hole. Then you have a hole. All right. Well, having a problem here. There you go. That's that'll happen. So, um, if you have any questions, but you just keep doing this until you get to your desired size. And um, if you have any questions, something that I maybe forgot or need to cover more, um, just leave in your comments be below. And um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video and all my videos. And... Um, subscribe and um, I think that's about it um, just leave me a question if you have a um, question but um, that's basically it I am going to be working on this one and if uh, I make another video I will um, I give you an update on what this looks like when it's a finished product. But uh, all right, so I'll see you next time. Um, take care, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Have a great day. Bye.